Why, hello there. I am Trucker Ray. Welcome to my channel if you're viewing for the very first time. I'm a Christian truck driver that drives Western Canada, and I love to share the gospel of Yeshua, Jesus Christ our Lord. Um, and I love to share what he is to me, and that he's my strength, and um, I couldn't get through the day without him couldn't get through the day without them and for those of you that have been here before my regular youtubers my new subscribers my regular subscribers welcome back it's a wonderful joy to have you here again I am at the beginning of a new cycle uh, I just finished my reset got a lot of laundry done <laughs> um, got, got a lot of stuff done uh, what else did I do picked up some supplies just regular stuff the load that I am waiting for right now should have been here at 7 a.m. I don't know what these team drivers are doing. It's coming in from Winnipeg or Ontario. It should have been here at 7 a.m. I, I hate relying. I don't like to use that word. Let's try that again. I do not like relying on other drivers when it comes to, am I gonna make it to my location tonight? Because for whatever reason it is, when these team drivers come in, they always take their time. I don't know what it is. They don't have the regard that there's a guy sitting in the yard waiting for it right now, and I want to get to my yard before midnight. But that's the trucking industry, isn't it? I wanted to share with you a comment. Um, I was reading a few comments on my last video, and uh, I found it very flattering, well, kind of humbling, actually. Um, but. Uh, it's uh, from a gentleman, his name is Trucker Vaden, I think it is. I'm not sure where you're from, unless you're in the UK. Not the UK, Europe. He says, hi Ray, hope all is well on the road. I am a fairly new subscriber, watched most of your videos, love the honesty on the channel. I am a young man in truck driving school and can't wait to be like you. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I find it flattering, but you don't want to be like me. <laughs> Believe me, you don't want to be like me. I totally look up to you and your humbleness. Peace and love, brother. Uh, Vaden, trucker Vaden. That's very kind of you. Thank you so very much. Um, I really appreciate comments like that. I I don't know what to say. I, I'm very, very humbled by that. And uh, and I thank you for that. Um, I tried to do my best not to let people down. Um, I guess the best thing for me to do is just... Just be myself, right? Just to be myself. Just be myself. And I have some other really nice comments on here, and I've been reading them all, and uh, I love the comments you guys leave me. It's amazing. Uh, Absolute Truth Girl said I could put nail polish remover on my windshield and not get rid of it. Uh, the, the grime on my windshield. Well, I tried one other thing, and if that don't work, I'll, I'll give your uh, suggestion uh, a shot there, Absolute Truth Girl. Um, I picked up some jet dry and I was told that works really well from cutting grease and getting rid of grease off of glass glasses dishes whatever you put that in the dishwasher so I put some of that in a couple jugs and I put it in my reservoir and we're gonna see what happens uh, hopefully that fixes the problem so anyway that's enough yakking for now I'm gonna open up with a prayer while I can pray right now <laughs> You guys want to join me? Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for this day. I thank you, Lord, for loving me, a sinner. Oh, Lord, I don't know what I would do without you. I don't know how I would get through my day without you. I ask you, Lord, before all my friends, that you would just forgive me of the things in my heart, the things that I need improving. Would you help me with that? 
Heavenly Father, I pray that you would watch over and protect me today as I make my way to BC. And Lord, I also ask that you protect the animals on the road. Lord, would you watch over my family, all my family, my friends, my YouTubers, my dear YouTubers, the new ones that are coming to the channel, like, <clears throat> like this uh, trucker, Vaden. Lord, would you bless him and his endeavors. And dear Lord, I just pray that um, you would bless my girl Wendy and her girls, my two kids, Jeremiah and Carrie Ann, and would you bless Chelsea too, Lord, please? And Heavenly Father, I pray that everything that I say, do, and think today will bring you glory. In Jesus' name, Yeshua the Messiah, I pray. Amen. Amen. carrier he's just parking the trailer right there in the middle of the yard I don't know what he's doing all right I have my trailer now I just have to hook up to her and it's gonna be not bad driving because it's pretty light it's only 20,000 so I'm good with that that means I'm not gonna be too delayed Test. Good morning everyone. It's almost 8.30 and I am at the yard in Delta and it doesn't look like I'm going to be moving anytime soon, probably tomorrow morning. And the reason why is they gave me a dispatch today, leaving tonight at 8.30 p.m. I just said, no, I can't do it. Uh, it's not that I don't want to do it, I can't do it. And the reason why I can't do it is because by the time I get loaded at 8.30 and start driving, I'm drifting off, I'm falling asleep. When I have to sit in the yard for 12 to 13 or 14 hours, I get up at 6 a.m., I'm ready to go. And, um, but when I have to sit around in the yard, in my truck, because there's nothing else to do, for 12, 13 hours, by the time I get over to the shipper, 
get my trailer loaded and I'm ready to leave, I'm falling asleep almost on the Trans-Canada Highway within an hour of my drive and I can't do that, it's not safe. That's just the way my body is. Um, it's kind of strange because I can start my day at 6 a.m., start driving at 6 a.m., drive 13 straight hours to Edmonton, or almost 13 hours straight to Edmonton, um, get there, and have the energy to go out and go shopping. But when I have to sit and do nothing, and my brain isn't doing something, it's not stimulated for like 13 straight hours, and then I start driving, I fall asleep after an hour of, of starting my shift. I'm, I, that's just that's the way it's always been for me. How do I keep my brain stimulated all day waiting? There is no way. <laughs> There's no way, like what am I doing? When you're driving, you're always watching the road. You're paying attention to the other drivers. You're watching your gauges. You're watching your mirrors every seven seconds. Um, that's keeping your brain stimulated. But when I'm sitting here in the yard, I'm like, okay, what do I do? Yeah, I guess I could work on my videos. I guess I could read, but you know what? It's not the same thing. So unfortunately, I had to turn down the load and I did say, okay, you know what? This is happening too often. There's another fleet, Canada-wide fleet. I think I'd really like to get on that one because this is starting to really drain me. And um, this is happening way too often. Like I said last week, I think I sat around 70 hours waiting for the same loads, same company uh, that's sending these loads out. And I know that's the only time they send them out, but I really wish that they would have you loaded in the middle of the night, pick up that trailer in the morning, and then deliver. And, but I, anyway, I'm not even gonna go into it. Doesn't matter, it is what it is. So the basics, I'm sitting around all day today. Uh, it is Sunday. Wendy is gonna be busy doing report cards, but I'm gonna see if I can get over there and maybe go have lunch with her, or sneak in a little walk with her or something, give her a break. Um, I don't want to interrupt her time when she's doing report cards because she, when she gets focused in, I, I, I don't know, maybe I'll have dinner with her tonight or something. But anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. A whole day, kind of shot to you know where. <laughs> Morning, gang. Almost 8 a.m. <coughs> Got my empty trailer and I'm taking it to the shipper. I like this place that I'm going to. They normally they have me <laughs> loaded up usually within a half an hour and I'm on my way, which is good. Looked at the weather forecast, looks like everywhere it's getting hit with snow today. Uh, Rogers Pass is getting hit good, and so is the Coquilla Highway. Chain up lights are on on Co Coquilla Highway. Yeah. Gonna be ugly. Just like it's gonna be ugly trying to get out of here. Uh, this is this is when everyone's going to work, man. This is not going to be easy getting out of here. Yeah, so... Oh my gosh, it's just a barrage of cars here. I gotta make a run for this. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be aggressive. Yeah. So, um, look, look at this guy here. What are you doing, pal? You can see I have my signal on. Why wouldn't you let me in? And look at the cars beside. They won't let me in either. Wow. This is what I'm talking about. There's no courtesy. None. I had my signal on for like 30 seconds and no one would let me in. Anyway, onward. <laughs>
Good morning. Just leaving Calgary. Made it into here last night at, I don't know, 9.30, 10 o'clock. And it's just regular driving. No issues. Nice clean roads all the way. It was actually quite enjoyable. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so now I'm heading back and I will be doing a reset when I get back because when I get back, I'm not gonna have any, I'll have like maybe seven hours left and I was hoping to get, be able to get back to Calgary for a reset. But um, because of all the trips I had to make through the canyon, it really took up a lot of time. That's every time you go through the canyon it's an extra hour so it's three hours right there that i could have had back and that would have been 10 and then some of the delays i would have had about maybe 13 hours left 12 13 hours left if everything went smooth unfortunately it didn't a lot of delays this week a lot of issues but i'll still get two and a half rounders in this week because it's only Thursday. I'm gonna reset and then I will be done and back on my um, back on my regular schedule again on my new cycle. Probably Sunday morning, so I'll still get a half a rounder in, if you know what I mean. So I'll have two and a half rounders on this trip or this cycle, so that'll be or this pay period anyway. So that's a good thing. Oh, a beautiful day today, nine degrees out here in Calgary. A little bit of overcast. Nice day. Very nice day for Calgarians. They wake up in the morning and see this and they're like, oh, this is nice. So onward we go, back home. Not sure what we're in store for. I don't know what the, I don't, there hasn't been any huge weather uh, alerts. So maybe it'll be a nice drive all the way back. Let's just hope. Let's hope.
I'm at the yard. Just dropped, or should I say, in the process of dropping my trailer. And uh, my work week is over, thankfully. My work week is over. I am very, very tired. I gotta lock my axles to get out of a dirt parking lot. Jeez. <laughs> to relax now what am I gonna do I'm just gonna relax for the night and then tomorrow I'm gonna go say hi to Wendy and Canada place in Vancouver is uh, doing some kind of a really cool display of the old Woodward's displays when Woodward's used to be in Vancouver they did these really nice Christmas displays every year so they're gonna do a little bit of a They've got some kind of a display on a lot of these things, so we're gonna go see that. That's gonna be really nice. Thought that would be cool to see that. So, that's kind of what's going on. I know the video hasn't been too terribly exciting, and I apologize for that, but uh, sometimes that's the way it is. But anyhow, until next time, my dear friends, God bless you all in the name of Yeshua. Bye for now.